see floor done pretty much how I want it with a little brown and a little uh, yellow green and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this last uh, seaweed looking plant I guess I guess I'll go back with orange Let's go back with orange here I like to go ahead first and trace the wavy line going all the way up like so once you get to the top like that start making the little lines in the side now guys I've noticed that if you do the lines go ahead and fill in the lines on one side first and then go to the other side I've noticed that the plant actually looks more authentic it looked much 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 better even if you did not do that to draw it in I suggest you do that when you color it in fish now for the jellyfish I don't have two of them in here and I'm gonna decide what colors I want them to be but I don't want to actually color them completely in I just want to outline my jellyfish that's right I'm just gonna trace around my jellyfish. Looks like this one is actually behind one of the plants so that's how you're going to trace around it. Don't go over the orange. Just kind of go around the orange like I'm doing here. And let's go ahead and trace this one in. Notice I'm not coloring in the whole jellyfish guys. I'm just tracing around the jellyfish basically just going over the pencil marks okay making sure it's nice and dark right, let's do the tentacles all right now once you get to this phase you can put the crayons away and it's time to go on to the paint now this is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to because what we're going to use for paint today is uh, actually called liquid watercolor it's liquid watercolors in a bottle and you don't need very much for what we're going to do with it. You open the bottle, it's like a little squirt top. We're going to pour just a little bit in here. That's pretty much all we're going to need for our painting. Um, Target was gracious enough to give us these little containers. And they're perfect, perfect, perfect for this type of watercolor painting. And then we have another one with just water in it so we can clean out our brushes when we want to change colors, okay? so. This is what we're going to do first. Let me show you. We're going to focus on the jellyfish. Let's focus on the jellyfish. First off, we're going to get our brush. And I want us to get it wet first. Get it wet just with clean water. And we're going to take that clean water straight to our paper. And inside of the jellyfish, just the half circle part, we're gonna actually get it nice and wet. Now, we don't want it too wet, or you'll put a hole in your paper. We just want to put a small, small, shallow pool of water. See how it's nice and wet? Next, let's pick what color we want our jellyfish to be. I think we're gonna go with the magenta here. We're gonna get a little magenta on our brush, and when we put it on the water, Boom, it kind of explodes with color, right? You see that? It kind of just explodes and it's going all over the wet part. That's really awesome, I think. Now, the cool thing about what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna actually let the paint drip. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna actually let the paint drip off the page. Let me show you what that's gonna do for us. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, look at there. It made more tentacles. <laughs> so you tap, tap, tap. The paint drips on the table just a little bit. See, it's not a big mess. It's just a little mess. And it actually made tentacles, more tentacles for us. I thought that was really, really neat. I can go through and put a little bit of paint in the tentacles that we actually enclosed in here. But I think that really look, looks neat when you have it drip off the table, off the page, I think. So we kind of just shake it, shake it, shake it. And if you're having a hard time dripping, you can get yourself a little bit more water 
and put right where you want it to drip. Did you see that? It dripped right down, didn't it? Uh-huh. Let's say we want it to drip over here a little bit. Put a little bit over there, just dab, dab, dab. And shake, shake, shake. Did you see it? You see it drip? See, I think that's really awesome. That's a really awesome thing, okay? Now this is where it can get a little bit messy, okay guys? This is where it get a little bit messy if it hadn't gotten messy already. What I wanna do, you put your finger and I want you to tap sprinkles of paint on your paper. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkles of paint all over your paper. We can do that in different colors, even colors that we haven't even used yet. I got a little orange here and I'm gonna splatter. It's called splatter painting. I'm gonna splatter some orange all over my paper too. You get a little water, get a little paint and shake it. Just tap it really, tap it against your finger and it splatters the paint all over your page. And, oh, I forgot the bottom. How could I forget the bottom? The ocean floor, God, how'd I forget that? Just actually go ahead and put the paint right on the brush and just watercolor the whole bottom. And you see that same effect that happened with the jellyfish up there. Wherever there's crayon, the watercolor actually does not stick, cannot stay on that surface. Where there's not any crayon, where basically where there's plain paper, you actually see the watercolor. So this is how our painting is going to look when we're done, okay? So uh, that is what we're going to do today. So now I would like you to go and have fun. Go ahead and do a splatter paint. Do another color, dude. I think you got blue covered. Green. Green, all right, let's see what you got. Go all around the top, too. That's what I see a lot of people doing. Hey, you, you only, when you splatter paint, a lot of you are only concentrating on the middle of your paper, so you end up with a lot of dots in the middle, but nothing around the edges. Kind of go around the edges, too, with the splatter paint. Around the whole painting. Hey, 